This is my 12 inch diameter Mead LX200 GPS and that is the tripod dolly I made to roll it out and position it for usage. So I already had the casters and the plywood and the ratchet straps and some of the hardware around. Um, so I really just had to buy some 2x4s and the large bolts for the leveling feet here. Um, if you had to buy everything, it'd probably be less than $200 easily to put something like this together. So here's the overview of how I built this. Um, the main thing you need to know is the distance between the outside leg of your tripod and the center of your tripod to know the length that you need to cut these 2x4s to. And so if you know the height that you use your tripod at, you can just set it up and measure it. When I was doing it, I made it extra long so I could try out different heights, and then I settled down on this height. And of course, when you're looking at height of the total system, you know, keep in mind of clearances of getting in and out of doorways. If you have a miter saw, you can cut 30 degrees off of each side of these 2x4s to give yourself a nice 120 degree angle on each one so they fit together nicely. If you don't, it's probably okay just to kind of leave them hanging um, because the real strength of this joint is from having these pieces of 3 quarter inch plywood on the top and bottom just liberally screwed in with lots of deck screws. Um, I just use scrap plywood, but if you had to buy plywood, you could cut it to a nice shape and nice size for whatever particular thing you wanted to put on top of it. So I'm using four inch casters here. Two of the three are locking because I had a set of four where two were locking and two weren't. Ideally, all three would lock, but I've found that two is plenty for locking just to leave it unattended. And it's not really on the casters when I'm using it because I bought some large bolts to use for leveling. So you need a way to keep your tripod from falling off this as you're rolling around. Um, the easy solution here is just to drill a hole in the 2x4 and set your tripod in that. I have an eye bolt over here that goes to ratchet straps to hold the thing down. Now I went ahead and 3D printed a bracket specifically to fit the bottom of my tripod leg. Um, you don't really need to do that. You could use a, a circle of something screwed down there or just drill a hole into the wood. You can probably get away with a much less than an 8 inch bolt. I bought an 8 inch bolt here because I wasn't quite sure how much clearance I was going to need. Um, but I think you could get away with like a 5 or 6 inch bolt because I have a piece of 2x4 and then an anti-vibration dampener, the puck down there. And so really I only need a couple inches to go up and down to get into that. Um, I've found with these 3D printed handles I'm able to, even with the tripod fully loaded with my telescope, I'm able to level this guy, go up and down just by hand without a wrench or anything. Um, so if you have a 3D printer you can print these STL files. I'll put a link in the description. So one thing to consider if you're space constrained is instead of putting the levelers on the outside, you could put them on the inside, especially if you have a smaller bolt and you have the um, little hand spinny thing there. I have, you know, the leg of the tripod to contend with here, but you could potentially put this caster on the outside, cut this thing off right at the far edge, and then put the leveling foot on the inside. I feel I get it a little closer to the cat to the bottom of the tripod on the outside like this, um, but it's possible to put that inside, especially if you use a shorter bolt um, and you know you didn't mind reaching underneath the tripod leg to turn it. So these bolts are mounted to the bottom here with something called a pronged T-nut and I'm using one half inch by 13 bolts. That's because they're the largest bolts that I can easily drill a half inch hole through everything. So there's a pretty tight half inch hole through both pieces of plywood to keep the bolt kind of aligned and upright and not put extra torsion force on the um, T-nut. And then the T-nut is just hammered into the bottom of that bottom little piece of 2x4 to support it up there. I used two pieces of 2x4 here just because I didn't want to have a large section of bolt that was unsupported going left and right kind of wiggling around um, and so I also have a 2x4 and a vibration dampening puck underneath it so I really only have a couple of inches of that half inch steel bolt going down and I didn't pay for any special bolts these are just you know the standard bolts you know I'm not getting super hardened or anything like that so I found I can roll this guy out set it up in about five minutes for leveling the whole tripod using those three um, screw adjusters and if it starts raining, I can take it down really quickly if I don't bother doing the screws just by lifting each leg and pulling the pucks out from underneath it. 
so do pay attention to things that stick out from your tripod so I'm you know getting close here with this handle and those little um, guys there are what's deciding the size of my leverage on this handle now if I had a shorter bolt or if I had to moved it out an inch further um, that wouldn't be an issue at all now, I found these wrench casters plenty fine for rolling over small bumps in my cobblestone jump up into the garage. All right, so hopefully this has given you some ideas on how to build your own. Um, if you want to follow along, I have a 40 minute long video where I go through the entire build process along with you know, every single step and my thoughts along the way. Um, so you know, if you're really interested in building your own, you might take a look at that before you start buying parts.